first signal. A bit jumpy, but we'll dig it in. Right then, there's a the pack magnet near. Right, getting a much more stable 73, 75 now. I'm in the hole. Let's see, I'm not far away from it. Maybe my pointer will get to it. Should we have a look? Deep. Right, so I'll get back to you when I get nearer. Yes, it's time for knee pads and wellingtons again, people. Damage it, need two ones. So, uh, we'll get back to you another a bit nearer. I've got it out, and it is, believe it or not, going into the brass pile. Oh, I haven't mentioned, have I? Yeah, I'm um, ordered, well, on Friday, should be here by next week, um, a 10 kilogram Ford rather than uh, just leave it in scrap piles or collect every bit. I'm going to melt it down into little bars. Now, if you've seen big stacks on YouTube, link in the description, um, you'll see what I mean. He goes out and gets pieces of scrap off the street and melts them down. But I've got so much of it that um, I find it metal detecting. So I'm going to start making uh, bars and do a yearly weigh up. That's another part of the channel. So. This might be just, uh, oh God, it's a piece of brass, dearie me. Let's move on to the next hole. But I've always thought, oh God, look at this old bit of treasure here. So now these are going to get melted into beautiful, shiny little, probably 10 kilogram bars. But that's a bit too big because he only does one kilogram. But I don't know, you know, we'll get to that bit when we get to it. Anyway, for now, we'll keep collecting the brass, the bronze, the copper, the gold, the silver, the lead. And hopefully, end of the year, we'll have little bars of all the metals that I've collected whilst metal detecting for the last year and picture up on screen now of the trash I've got so far. Well, trash, let's call it treasure from now on, shall we? Because it will be getting mounted down into non just little shiny bars. Anyway, that's a beautiful piece of brass going into the collection. Fill in the hole and on to the next. Now, I've had a few bits of value, but nothing worth um, filming. But this is a 43. 65, so I'll bring you back when I um, get closer. Let's see if we're any closer. Change to a 99. It's still so deeper, so I'll bring you back when it's closer. All right, digging. It's just a piece of aluminium. Oh well, on to the next. 71, 72 here. It's any close to this. Oh, it's not. We'll see, bring you back when I find it, eh? Here it is. It's not tin, foil, I mean aluminium. Which type piece of aluminium you know, yeah. It's 
was spicy. Oh, we failed again. <laughs> failed again, get it anyway, on to the next hole. Alright, so we've got, um, well, it's difficult because my uh, detector's saying it's there, but my pinpoint is saying it's Seventy five, seventy six. Well, anyway, I'll dig this one. We'll get back to you on the mirror, hey. Right. After digging um, a pond, I finally realised that it was in the clump just here. Oh, meal, meat pad. Right. And you. Saying it's in there anyway. And it is. Oh, better get stabby out for this one, eh? Oh. What have we here? Yeah, I've just got to call out a piece of aluminium with some very interesting bits on it. Modern, anyway, near the pouch. There we are, on to the next. I think there's 76, 75 here. Bring you back when I've dug it. Got a feeling this is trash. Oh, sure, right. Yeah. Very pretty bottle top. Where's it in my hand? Yeah, on to the next. Aluminium. You'll be shiny again one day. Anyway, fill the hole in. On to the next. Got this load to the surface one here. 72. Sound like a two pence. This time, against the pouch, on the next. No one here. Probably just. Oh. God damn. Yeah. Some kind of. Looks like um, some steel washer, I think. Anyway, on to the next. And a piece of treasure here, maybe. Belong to something, the rich mark there. What did you bring? There's a lot of silver come from this field. Beginning to 
like a hour or something. Oh, I can't really get any details off it yet, but what I'll do is I will clean it up and put a little picture on the screen if it's anything interesting, or in fact, whether it was a. Um, it ain't aluminium. It's not lead. Um, I wonder what it is. I'll have a look when we get back. Anyway, throw a hole in into the mix. Another one. <laughs> Ah, oh. <sighs> no, this is modern aluminium. On to the next. Well, I ain't found much today in these uh, spoil piles, even though they've cleared half the tops off. So, um, I just want to go back to the field, but I can't leave this. I'm going to do the last two and see what time it is. Anyway, got something in this hole. Jumpy little signal. Your friend and my friend, the ring pull. That this is an 1980s version. Still, if you know, aluminium into the aluminium pole, a little hole. On to the next. 88, 89. What do you reckon? Ring pull. Does look like um sure fun way to um, ruin your lens, but anyway. Got a piece of aluminum there. Aluminium. Seven. Don't know what it is, and I don't know what's made of, and it's got a piece of aluminium. So we check that out. We get home into the bag, fill the hole, onto the next. Number eighty-eight. Don't know what that is. Fill the hole in. Onto the next. Seventy four, seventy five here. Yeah. 
Getting a little still. Sort of flick it out. See you drop it into that hole there. Oh god. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Don't panic. Oh, that's me burning dead. Oh god, oh my. Did you see that disaster? Live on camera. Tiny little flake of what I think is a part of something silver, like a charm or something. <sighs> well, I'm gonna put that way because it's definitely 100% silver. Oh, yes. Screen now. Check the hole, fill it in onto the next. Get a very jumpy signal here, but I dig it, eh? Show you when I get there. Whatever it is, is in my hand. What I think we have here. I don't know, you know. Don't feel like aluminium. But clean it up, find out what it is, be in the right pile and on the screen. All right now, hole fill next. Now, if I was to mention the um, indicating numbers being 50, I'm not going to jinx myself, but yeah. Well, this is ringing up at 99. 
This looks like burnt foil. Anyway, into the pouch. Can we replace the surface one yet? Got here then. Oh, oh very nice. What flavor of metal is that? Let's get it glistening in the sun. Mm. Intriguing. Clean it up on the screen with metal side. The bin is going in. <laughs> anyway, on to the next. Got one in the 50s here. Somewhere it sinks out. I don't believe it. Let's go on. Stabby. Oh, it's definitely out now. Hmm. What have we got here? Oh. Oh my God! It's a lead bracelet. Definitely some kind of. Deliberately made bracelet out of lead. Um, don't know if you can see anything on it. Oops. Ah, oh, battery's gone. I must have changed the battery. All right, sorry about the battery went. Well, I'll give it a bit of squirty and looking at it, it's definitely a lead. Each end's tapered in as if it was like a belt, shaped like a belt. And then on the edge of the very outside edge there's like um what you get on a coin you know the ridges and then if you look here i don't know if you can see it but i'll put it up on the screen you can not see a what looks like a star just on that piece there where it would connect like it would do a belt i suppose i don't know very intriguing little piece. But we know what part it'll end up in if it's nothing historic. And that is the lead pile. Anyway, hole fell. Fifties. That's all I'm gonna sorry. We have it, ladies and gentlemen. This feels like, suspiciously like, aluminium slag. Anyway, Phil holding on to the next 68, saying it's not deep, so I'm going to get my shovel out on this one. Not that my point I detects two inches, you know what I mean? Just know it's there. And I think we have found the big brother to the other piece of aluminium slag. Hmm. Could be mistaken on the aluminium, it's a bit heavy for Arlo. We'll find out. We'll test it all, don't worry. In the pouch. On to the next.
I do like an 81 signal close to the surface though, yes I do. There you are baby. Oh yeah. Got it, Stabby. Oh. Oh, what we got here? Ooh. I don't know what it is. It's got some intricate patterns right there. Tell you what, clean it up. Get on the screen. Fill in holes and get on to the next. Nice kind of piece of a. Uh, I don't know what it is. Definitely on the silver screen anyway. On the screen, on the next. Oh, I said there's someone else in the hole. 72, so do get a bit deeper. No, this was shaped and shaped like a shield. I'll clean up the on screen now. Ooh, yes, on to the next. Um, God, I was trying to make my way back to the. You know when you try and get back to your coffee to have a little break of coffee, and all the way back there's blip 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 blip. It's been thirty five minutes. I've been dropped. Oh, Mr. Fox. Oh, anyway, nothing more babbling on about needing a coffee. Um, fill in the hole. On to the next. I'm literally feet away from my coffee and this squawker came out of the ground. So, when I get near it, I'll uh, take what it is. Squawking. That's why hot in cans you got a lot to answer for. Aluminium parts. I'm cracking it. 72 signal, but you know what? I'm a three feet away from a coffee, so after I've had my little break, I'll dig it. I don't know what it is. Right, that 72 has turned to a 76. It seems two inches away, so. What have we got this time? What flavour? Oh, see there's some pattern on there if you look. Oh, I do love a good pattern. Don't know what it is, it feels uh, too heavy to be aluminium. Too strong to be silver. I'll have a look when we get back, eh? Put the hole in onto it. Uh, 52. Seems close to the surface, which it is. Close the surface. And it was. Well, again, not aluminium, not lead. Check out when I get home. 
the next 76 very close to the target service it's here as you can see it is Oh, we've got a coin. Oh, first coin of the day. Maybe it's not coin. Who knows? Let's have a look, shall we? It's round. Ah, oh, it's a tombat. Missing its core. Be nothing on there. Oh, well, there is something on there as it goes. Because it's been... It's a flower pattern. Just make it out to the keeper. I'll take that. Probably covered in cloth at one stage. Anyway, on to the next. Oh, no, 72 seconds in here. Oh, it's in my hand. Whatever it is. Oops, wrong thing. Oh, yeah, here we are. Again, some kind of slag, some kind of mount. Trouble is, it's not lead, but it's got that same sheen. It's also got a very good shine to it, like silver. Don't know, we'll find out, eh? Go on the screen. With what I found and the weight to what I found today. And um, fill in the hole onto the next thing. No, it was just over here a little bit. Let's see, I could explain it. This will explain it all. No, it won't. It's a weird one, this is. Definitely not aluminium. Weird as you like. Wow. Well, we'll have a look at that too. We're on the screen, onto the next. We want close to surface. Not surprisingly, that has been scraped. What have we got here? You might want to investigate that and get back to it. I don't know what it is. But weird if it's aluminium. It's too strong to be aluminium. Anyway, in the bucket, on to the next. I mean, pouch, then is the bucket later on. Maybe. On to the next. 7980 repeatable here. I think we'll dig this one, eh? Hey. I had a bit of ground to put my shovel in today, this is. Oh. It 
Saying it's out. Let's have a look then, shall we? And there we are. Oh, see that glistening there. What have we got? Ooh. Yes. Oh, yes. That's as uh, Big Stacks would say, you, you, you can't mistake that um, ripple effect in cooling silver. As you can see clearly, the cooling effect is rippled on that. So that is a 100% a nice chunk of silver. A uh, shadow of a doubt. Be sure to check, go over and check Big Stack's channel out because um, he does some quite interesting stuff. But that is what we call old molten grade A silver. Amazing. Right. Well chuffed with that. Anyway. Oh, yes. On to the next, mate. On to the next. 79 close to the surface and then an 83 really deep so I don't know what to make of it. Oh, shall we? Well, it's definitely not close to the surface so I'll get back to you. And there we have it. It's napped copper, aluminium. On to the next. stuff on it. Look at that there. Uh, look about it, isn't it? Investigate. Nice little pattern on it there, whatever it is. Alright, what's next? Just cut this. Put that hole there. Shiny, shiny. Not lead. Definitely not aluminium. Anyway, run out there. What's the next? Well, I just got this out of the clump. Some interesting markings on it. As you can see. I wonder what flavour of metal it is. It's surely not aluminium, not with that patina. No, no, no. Further investigation is warranted. This looks like some kind of something. Ooh, nice little markings down here. Look, well, I'll give that a good clean up when I get home and we'll have a look at this one. Oh, yes. Something old. I do like something old. Anyway, Phil Holden, it's oh, definitely a cut cobble, isn't it? Definitely. Too uniform not to be. Another nice bit of stone, that. I don't know how it's looking a bit like it's. Um, Gonna be uh, brass, sorry, or is it just painted? That's to a door handle. Anyway, whatever it is, we'll find out. Be on screen. What's the next? One? 